let me ask you this are you tired of endless clicks in excel have you tried using hotkeys man i'm not talking about those regular control c control z control x and yada 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 i'm talking about the ones that matters matters to expediting your excel work and making your day-to-day -day job a breeze interested here are my most essential excel hotkeys the very first one on my list would be to sum let's say for example if you want to allocate a sum in here what you do is you highlight your data set table like this and you press alternate equal and you will sum it up at the bottom for you and if you undo the total on the side go ahead and do this like that and press alternate equal it will sum it on the right hand side for you but if you want to do both side and the bottom highlight like that and you press alternate equal on your keyboard to draw a chart place your cursor anywhere on your data set table press ctrl a to highlight your data set table and press alternate f1 to draw a chart for my apple user it's going to be command f1 now to add a new row you're going to press shift space on your keyboard to highlight the row is the same key for all apple users to add a row you're going to press ctrl shift plus on your keyboard for apple users it's going to be command shift plus now to delete the row simply highlight the row again by pressing shift space on your keyboard and you press ctrl minus on your keyboard here for apple users it's going to be command minus to add filters very simple highlight your header like this and press ctrl shift l on the windows machine for apple users it's going to be command shift f to introduce line breaks to your text simply place your cursor where you want to introduce line break to and press alternate enter on your keyboard for apple user it's going to be command option enter now to quickly identify a difference between two columns simply highlight the two columns like this and press ctrl backslash on your keyboard and after that you can go ahead and highlight it for apple users it's going to be command backslash now to convert your data set into a table simply place your cursor on your data set and press ctrl t on your keyboard and then click on ok for my Apple users, it's going to be Command T. Now to access the Excel's Quick Analysis tool, highlight the column or rows like this and press Ctrl Q on your keyboard. And now you can use all the Quick Analysis widget. For my Apple users, it's going to be Ctrl Q. To re-trigger calculation in Excel, simply press F9 on your keyboard. For Apple, it's the same key, F9. And finally, for my last two favorite hotkey, if I want to go to my previous worksheet, I hold down my control key on my keyboard and press page up on the keyboard. For my Apple users, it's going to be FN or function key plus control plus up arrow. Now, if I want to go to my next worksheet, I hold down my control key and press page down on my keyboard for Windows users. For Apple users, it's going to be FN or a function key and control and down arrow.